Dubai, the most populous city in the United Arab Emirates and the capital of the Emirate of Dubai already attracts millions of tourists each year. From October 2020, Dubai will be hosting the World Expo. This event, together with their bold new tourism strategy, will attract even more visitors per year. To attract, facilitate and accommodate more tourists, the Dubai Harbour Master Plan is being realized. A new and exclusive waterfront spanning a stunning 185 hectares, including berths for 1,400 boats, two cruise terminals, hotels, beaches and an impressive lighthouse. Dubai Harbour is strategically located at the intersection of the Blue Waters Island and the iconic Palm Jumeirah both constructed by Van Oort. In October 2020, uh, the expo in Dubai will start. And uh, at that moment in time, all eyes of the world will be focused on Dubai. And this project facilitates that uh, thousands of people will arrive to Dubai and can visit the expo 2020. Van Oort on this project is, uh, is the main contractor for the complete works. We call it the complex projects because it has a lot of different kind of aspects. We are responsible not only for the land reclamation, we are also responsible for the construction of the key walls, uh, we are responsible for the soil compaction, uh, and at the same time we uh, deliver the works in separate milestones whereby the follow-on contractors already occupy the area where we just left. So it is a lot of construction works ongoing on a very compacted area. There are at the moment thousands of people working here at the same location. The main challenge always is to have the people moved from A to B, getting all the supplies in, getting all the equipment in, and on a safe, uh, safe manner. Basically, the Tuba Hub Marine Project has three main elements. One is the construction of key walls, the other one is uh, the construction of beaches, and the remaining rock revetments. Now, currently, we are at the largest key wall we have constructed, which is around one kilometer long which can facilitate the largest crew vessels in the world. As you can see also in the background, also a further contractor is already busy with the construction of the cruise terminal itself. And everything needs to be ready by August 2020 next year. The main elements for Van Oort, we have in the land reclamation projects. We've utilized the various hopper dredges, the various cutter suction dredges as well. To construct the access channel and turning basin for the cruise vessels. And we have a lot of small auxiliary equipment, uh, rock barges, installation pontoons, excavators for the rockworks and the beach uh, reclamation works. So now what we're doing is we are checking the water quality because as per the DM regulations here, we need to maintain the turbidity very low because we have Atlantis, the palm and there will be people on the beach. So the DM time to time they come to visit us. So we make sure that the turbidity is very low and the water is clean so that the public doesn't feel any problem. It's important because I believe the most important issue we are facing right now is climate change and it makes me very happy that I can do whatever I can to help save the environment. We make sure at Banod that we don't throw any waste into the water and we make the water very clean for while we are working. We leave the water as it was. We don't damage it. Van Oort has been awarded the contract to carry out the land reclamation and marine works for the Dubai Harbour Master Plan. Being the main contractor of this complex project, Van Oort is responsible for dredging the 12-kilometer navigation channel, reclaiming land, ground improvement works and construction of 3,750 meters of key walls. The successful completion of its works for the Dubai Harbour Master Plan will bring Van Oort's track record of achievements in this emirate to yet another level. By creating this world-class maritime facility, Van Oort prepares Dubai for the upcoming World Expo and it contributes to Dubai's 2020 tourism vision.